back to my channel. I'm starting a new weekly vlog for you guys. It is 11.30 right now. I've been working on some edits. I have some videos to set in for approval, so I'm just editing them here at my desk. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling good this morning or whenever you're watching. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I make lifestyle content. I make honestly a lot of different videos. I talk about food. I talk about my puppy cash. I talk about life things if you guys want to stick around feel free to subscribe sometimes i forget to say that in my video so i just want to always say it i threw my hair back today and it definitely doesn't look super cute it feels very formal for some reason but the reason why is because the weather's been so weird it's been extremely rainy and i just want it up and out of my face i think it's going to start raining again but it actually just cleared up which is nice this might be just a monday to thursday vlog aiden's mom is coming into town thursday which i'm really excited about and i have been trying to finish all my videos before then just to really get to spend time with her and hang out so this will almost be a whole week of my life i'm really excited for this vlog i have some fun things planned for one today i'm actually touring apartments so i talked about this in a recent weekend vlog this video might even be up before this one is up so i'm touring apartments with a company called smart city living to do a video on youtube and we did most of the tours this weekend but there was one building we didn't get to go to so we're going to that one today and it looks very fancy she said she's going to try to show me the penthouse for fun which is like twenty thousand dollars a month or something crazy so i am really excited that's at three o'clock so i'm trying to finish up a lot of my work this afternoon woke up early got a run in did all my normal morning stuff aiden's in the office today so whenever he's in the office i just feel extra productive because i'm literally here alone to get stuff done i also want to go thrifting sometime this week we're going to the beach here soon i think it'd be fun to do a thrift haul for you guys i ordered some stuff online but i'm trying to be somewhat better and try to also just thrift because there's a buffalo exchange around here which i love i might even place an order from thread up because i love thread up i used to work with them and i think they're the best and then just getting a lot of work i have some new recipes i'm going to try to cook dinner every night until aiden's mom comes because i'm sure we're going to be eating out with her and doing fun stuff in dallas i really quick just wanted to say a huge thank you to warby parker for sponsoring today's video you guys might not know this but i actually do wear glasses i can't see very far away so i wear them when i'm driving or i just need to see more farther away. I love Warby Parker. I've worked with them before. I think they're the best company. I seriously, hands down, best company to get glasses from. They are committed to providing exceptional vision care in stores and online. And they provide eyeglasses, sunglasses, eye exams, and also contact lenses. They're also really affordable. They start at around $95 and they have a very helpful home try-on kit, which is super great if you're just not someone who wants to go in and try on glasses. I know last time I tried to get glasses in store, they had to disinfect each one in between and you had to like set it in a special case and it was just a whole process because of everything going on and so i love that warby parker has its home try on kit essentially how it works you get your kit in the mail and you can take a quiz online to figure out what kind of style glasses that you want I always take the quiz. I think it's actually really helpful. I think a lot of times stores will do these quizzes and they're not super helpful, but Warby Parker's is just really nice. You can find the shape that's gonna fit your face best. You get to try on five different glasses and you can keep them for five days and then it ships for free. You literally don't have to pay anything and you don't have to buy. There's no obligation. I'll show you guys a few of the ones that I got. Let me know down below which ones are your favorites. These are the Durand narrow ones and they're clear, which I think is really fun. I don't have any clear glasses and I feel like I never wear them. They kind of have a glare on here, but I just think they're really cute. These ones are their butler style. I think that these are so pretty. I love, shell glasses are my favorite, so I love these. And these ones are the Marin ones. These ones I think are my favorite. I love cat eye style. I think they look the best on my face shape personally. Let me know which ones were your favorite. Those three were my top three that I got. But yeah, if you're looking for new glasses, I think that Orby Parker is the best. The quality is amazing. I also like that you can really customize them so you can get, you can personalize your lenses so much. You can add a blue light filter and a lot of other things. So if you're looking for new glasses, I think Warby Parker is so great. If you guys want to try Warby Parker's free at home try on program, you guys can order five different pairs of glasses and keep them for five days. And there's no obligation to buy. It ships for free. And then you also get a prepaid shipping label to ship it back to Warby Parker. You can try five pairs of glasses at home for free. You guys can go to warbyparker.com slash Michelle Reed, and that'll take you right there. You can order your kit and let me know if you guys get some, let me know which ones are your favorites. I just think they're so fun. And I think glasses can really change your look and just your style oh he's thick in the hand each week i think he's gonna stop doing this because he's getting too big and <laughs> he just keeps doing it he just always has to pop up and say hi hey cash what's up buddy you sitting on the desk i just made myself 
a good old fashioned sandwich. Sometimes it just hits different. It's really good. I just changed my laptop background and I thought this laptop background was so cute. It says good things are coming. It looks very summery. I love how bright it is. It makes me really happy to look at. So whenever I change my wallpaper, I just Google like simple laptop wallpaper and see what comes up. And this one came up and I thought it was cute. For today's outfit, I am wearing this top, which is from H&M. I can never find a link though. I wish I could because I wear it all the time. It's the best. And then my pants, I got these on sale, I think last year from Madewell. They're just these pink culotte pants. I think they're super cute. These are my favorite boots. I got these from Target. I pretty much wear them with everything because they're so cute. So I just got back home. I'm literally eating bread and butter pickles out of the jar. But that was so amazing. We saw apartments at the Amley Fountain Place. You weren't allowed to take videos of the pet house, but oh my goodness. The coolest pet house ever. The walls were like sloped in. It was on like the 40th floor. It was crazy. But it's four o'clock now. I'm glad that's done. I still need to make a couple of thumbnails and make some promotion clips for my videos. So I'm gonna do that. Aiden's actually headed home, which I'm really excited about. I'm excited when he comes back from work because I'm so used to him working from home. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. We got back from a walk, so I'm gonna put together some dinner. I'm just cooking us some sirloin steaks. I still have my butcher box steaks, which I still really like. I think they have a deal going on right now. I'll put it right here if you guys haven't heard of Butcher Box. It's like a meat delivery service, but I didn't defrost it in time. So I went ahead and got some fresh ones that are ready to make. This is my favorite side to put with steak. I just think it's really good. It's just roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. Very tasty. And then I'm gonna put together a salad with some carrots and the salad mix. And I think I'm gonna try to make my own vinaigrette because I'm out of our balsamic vinegar. Also, I can't get over how cute my dog is. Do you guys ever just like look at your dog? And you're just like, how did you get so cute? Who let you be this cute? You're just so pretty sitting there. It is Tuesday right now. It is still raining. I'm in the car. I just like half dried my hair and then put half of it back because it is raining. I also stole this cardigan from my sister Lindsay and I've been wearing it ever since and I really need to return it. I just stopped by the PO box. I actually was supposed to drop off a package that I needed to return and I forgot the package, which always seems to happen. But I just picked up a ton of letters. I'm so excited to read these. I'm probably not gonna read them on camera because there's quite a few. But I do wanna say, I don't think my PO box is giving me packages anymore. It used to be they would give me like a key where I'd open a locker and the package would be in there. Now they never do that and I only get failed delivery slip. And when I try to do re-delivery, it won't let me do it. So I would just hold off on sending packages if that's something that you've tried to do. I don't know why I've even talked to someone and they don't really know why that happens. So a little bit confused, but I'm just having a little bit of an afternoon because Aiden's gonna have the car for the next two days for work. And so I'm just running some errands today. I was doing that. I'm gonna stop by Buffalo Exchange and then head home after that. I just thought it'd be fun to go do some stuff. I'm listening to What We Said podcast, which is like my favorite podcast to listen to. I'm just doing some girl stuff. So I didn't find anything there, but I did get a nice latte since it's rainy, it's nice and cozy. I felt like everything in there was so expensive for used clothes that didn't have tags or anything. It's just so hard because I always want to buy things in person, but I end up ordering everything online because I think thread up is so much better than going to a thrift store now. So my nail appointment is still in an hour and a half. So I think I'm gonna go run somewhere else. I really need to find a bathroom too. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Hi. Really? Aww, he missed his mom. Yeah, Did you miss me? What? I just finished work. Yeah. So a cool baby. Yay. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. You want a kiss? You want a kiss? Oh, thank you. Did you get a bath? 
Did you just get a bath? Look at your boy. Oh, he's chasing the tail. He's chasing the tail. We'd stare at her and claps, and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh. They would be together. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday. I normally work out in the morning, like you guys know, but I have not been sleeping very well, and I just don't have the physical energy to do, like, an intense workout. So I think I'm just going to take him on, like, a 45-minute or an hour-long walk. Usually, we just do a short one in the morning and then a longer one at night, but I'm just going to do a long one this morning because I don't know why I keep sleeping and not waking up in the night but not feeling fully rested and feeling really tired still in the morning. I swear I have some mild form of sleep apnea. I don't really know. I've had so many sleep issues and so let me know if there's a reason it's not insomnia because i fall asleep perfectly fine i don't wake up in the night i just feel like i'm not getting into a deep sleep at night i'm never aware of being awake so it's weird yesterday had such a weird day i don't really know what yesterday was i literally went to lululemon after i got my nails done because i wanted to get another pair of these align shorts because i've been wearing them all the time for my workouts they're the best i'll have them down below I think they're better than any dupe. They're so comfortable. I wear them for all my workouts and you're not supposed to wear them for like running and stuff, but I really like them. These are what the shorts look like. I have the eight inch ones, but they also have six inch ones and maybe an even shorter one, but I just think that they're so comfy. And then I also really love the Align tops. I wear these too and they're really soft. I do think there's an Amazon dupe that's pretty similar to this. And I think it's pretty good if you guys wanna check out that one. I'll have them both linked down below. And for some reason I just bought two other things that I just didn't really need, but my total was around $250. And I was driving home and I felt so guilty about buying things that I just didn't need that I literally turned around and went to another location because I was embarrassed and returned the other things. It was just a weird day. We then went to take cash to a dog park, but it's super money. There weren't a lot of dogs. So we went to an outdoor restaurant. He got really money, but even bath. It was just a really strange day. So today we're gonna make it a good day. I just made my to-do list. I have a lot of stuff to get done today in terms of work, but I think that starting the day off with a nice run will be good. I also wanted to say, I've been doing Brooke Michio's. I don't know if this is like her thing she created, but she puts whipped cream on the top of her iced coffee. And you can't tell now because it's at the bottom, but it really does make it seem like it has the cold foam. So I just showered and I got ready and I self tan, which you can probably tell, but I wanted to say this one right here, it's just like an OG. It's so good. And I like it because it stays on for literally five days. It stays on for so long. I just think it's the best, but I was bad and I, had heard people talking about this one, so I wanted to try the St. Tropez Ashley Graham one, which I love the texture. It's a really cool texture. It feels like you're putting whipped cream on your body. And I also love the mitt, because it's the soft mitt, but it does not stay on. It literally, for me, stayed on for two days. Granted, I do work out, so I sweat a lot, and so that could be part of it, but this always happens when I try new things. This is why I have to stick to what I love, which is this. I also think this just is a better skin tone for me. This one, I don't know. There's something about it. It doesn't look as natural to me. I also usually have Aiden do my back, but he's at work. And so I couldn't really do my back. So I just don't think it was the best tan. He always thinks it's so funny when I call this a mitt. He thinks it's like an oven mitt. I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and I'm also really hungry. So I'm gonna make some breakfast. I always wish my hair would stay like this, but it never stays like this. It gets so flat. But I just curled my hair with a straightener, which is my favorite way to do my hair lately. I just think it's so like, bouncy and wavy and it falls really nicely. breakfast this is just some chicken sausage two eggs scrambled and then i also just have a carrot carrot orange and i put some hot sauce over this i'd also had spinach if i had it but i didn't have it So right now I'm currently working on this video that I'm about to film the sit down portion for, but it's actually an apartment search video, which is really fun. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a while and it's nice just working on something different. So I'm editing that. I also just did this reel that I'm gonna post on Instagram and I actually edited this on Final Cut and then I'm gonna do the text actually in the Instagram app, but I usually do edit my reels on Final Cut because I just find it's easier than editing in the app, but I also just did this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or hello if you guys are new. It actually kills me how he loves laying on pillows. Like 
when we put him in bed at night with us, he will find a pillow to lay on because he loves resting his head on the pillow. Cash out to play with one of his friends. There is a Cocker Spaniel in the building that is also a puppy. And so they just always really play well together. So they were just playing outside, but it inspired me to go outside up to the roof. I'm gonna do some work up there. I'm gonna finish editing this video that I just filmed and send that in and then also do a thumbnail and plan a podcast. But it's so nice outside and since it's been so not nice lately, I wanna go ahead and head upstairs. Hopefully there's a seat available. It's a bit later now. I was reading up on the roof earlier, but now I'm about to make some dinner. I am making this lemon garlic butter thighs and green bean skillet meal. It looks really easy, but I'm honestly so hungry. Aiden just went to work out. I think I'm just gonna make it now and eat because I am so hungry and we don't have any snacks. <laughs> is always how we eat. He's definitely a beggar. This is like the one habit that I just don't really care to break. I would just like to say that this is what I came into my apartment to see. He lays in the funniest positions. The lighting in our apartment is so weird right now because it's so cloudy out. So I'm filming this in our room, which I don't normally record in because the lighting is just so yellow in here, which I actually like for sleeping. It's kind of like on your laptop when you do the screen that turns warm toned at night. It's supposed to be better to kind of like block blue light, I'm pretty sure. It's really calming though. So I wanted to show you guys, I got this swimsuit. I love Aerie. I think their swimsuits are so cute. And so we're going on a couple of beach trips. I don't know when we go to Rhode Island in the beginning of June, if it really gets like warm enough to swim there. I know the water's pretty cold, so I don't know if we'll be swimming there, but we'll still probably be on the beach. But we're also going to Florida and I'll definitely be swimming there. I got this one piece. I showed this in a different video and I actually ordered it. It's a one piece, you can't really tell, but it has this tie in the front, it has a cutout, a normal bottom that's not cheeky, but this swimsuit had such good reviews on the website. And so I wanted to try it because I love like a classy black one piece. So I'm wearing the swimsuit, but another thing I wanted to say, I got this in a small tall. And what I like about Aerie is you can get tall sizes because I'm 5'7". And sometimes things are just a little bit too short. And so I got this in a small tall and I think it fits really great. And I'm obsessed with it. It's like one of my favorite swimsuits I've ever had. I'll have this link down below if you're interested. I think it's so hard to find swimsuits that are just flattering and comfortable. Just a really cute swimsuit to wear, especially when you're gonna be around your husband's grandma. You just wanna feel comfortable. So I'll have this link down below. I'm just getting some work done, but I ordered from Flower Child. I got this turkey avocado wrap and then a side of broccoli. I'm eating it with some ranch too, just for when I get my work done. So I'm wrapping up working on this podcast right now and I just wanted to say I'm doing this episode on body confidence and kind of self-esteem, body image. There's just a lot of things that prompted this episode, things I've been thinking about and going into the summertime. I asked for some submissions, either you guys asking questions or people just saying like their thoughts on the topic and I get them to an email and I've just been reading through them. I've been doing YouTube since I was so young, since I was like in middle school and I just think it's so cool how I've gotten to grow up with so many of you guys and there are just so many i'm on my period right now there are just so many like thoughtful wise and kind people who are just so genuine and so sweet and it just makes me so happy that a people like you are following me and b that i get to learn stuff from you guys too on here and it also just makes me sad reading like certain thoughts that people have and things that they're going through and i just wish i could like hug you through the screen and tell you that you are just absolutely so beautiful and you are so worthy despite the way that you look also that there's just a god who loves you immensely who made you into the person that you're meant to be and it just breaks my heart too at the same time to see things that people submit and i was doing some research though and i wanted to share this in this episode this episode's already up if you guys want to listen to it so i found this quote and i just think it's really beautiful so it's from morgan harper nichols who's an angel i love her poetry she says guard your heart from those that only love you in the shallow end 
When you're all made up and out with friends, you are made for more than satisfying the eyes and momentary affections of those passing by. Your maker has set a glorious depth in you filled with purpose, intention, grace, and truth. And to love you, they must love him far beyond the shallow end. So yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys to surround yourself with people who do love you, like she said, far beyond the shallow end. And also love people the same way too, like that. You never know what other people are going through. And there's more to them than just what they can do for you or the way that they look and do you miss me at all do you think about the things we used to do no you couldn't stand tall